Yo, what's good? It's Burger. And this is Beats with Burger. So even though the drop's the most important thing, I think it's important to have a good melody to back it up. Everyone used to say my melodies were sick and I just think it was because not a lot of producers was as soulful as that. So this video is just a demonstration on how to build a melody. So what we'll do is we'll select some sounds. These are reason stock sounds so they're easy to find. It all depends on what you're making. If you're making something soulful and soft then you want to use some rolls or something. And if you're making something harsher or darker then you want some harsher and darker sounds. Maybe even some pads for the background. So with these sounds I've got here, let's make a melody. I'm gonna go for something dark and edgy. I use this thing for a top line. As you can see, these pads kind of make it a bit more deeper. This bass gives it a bit more grit as well, so I like this. Strings can make it sound a bit more real. I, don't, I, I can't even explain what I mean, but that's just how it makes me feel. So let's add some on top. This is alright this. Now we've got something we like, let's add a build up. I'm going to use a white noise sample and raise the pitch and the volume at the same time. This is simple to do. All you do is right click, edit automation and then draw it how you want it. I'm going to add a snare roll as well. Sometimes I'll use a sample, but this time I'm going to draw in each individual snare myself. Alright, this is alright. Let's hear it with a drop. Yeah, 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 yeah